So we're here in Linz, Austria for the Ars Electronica Festival and we brought the world's largest twin musical Tesla coils. These are giant devices of science. They look like maybe antennas for a bizarre radio station and what they emit is not radio waves but it's giant bolts of lightning. You see a three or four meter long bolt of electricity shoot out of these towers and there's two of them and what you see is lightning but what you hear is music. You hear music almost as if giant insects was making it. It sounds like It sounds like this. Only much better. I'm not a very good uh, singer or voice model. So, we came here from Cleveland, Ohio, back in America. We've been making uh, musical Tesla coils and doing shows for three years now. We got started in Cleveland, and since then we've performed, of course, in other places in America. Also, in uh, last year we did a tour from Croatia to Amsterdam. Ars Electronica is hands down, bar none, no lies, the best place we've ever performed. We are in this, um, this just towering, glowing ice fortress of a building. We asked them to just keep the entire building as a large blue ice mountain. And on top of this ice mountain, you see these uh, infernal, maniacal devices, like there's some madman at the top of an ice mountain in a science fiction novel. And there they are, shooting electricity, maybe trying to bring something to light. Um, so it looks very science fiction. This is the image of this show is the best that we've ever, ever been able to pull off. So it's true. It's true, I battle or I dance with the lightning bolts. What happens is I wear a full body metal suit. It's metal from my toes to my head to the tips of my fingers. Uh, inside the suit you asked what does it feel like? It feels scary. I think if you're not a little bit scared then maybe you shouldn't be in that business. Um, the, each lightning bolt could easily kill me. So. Without that metal suit, and it's very thin, you have to really, really have a faith in science to believe that you're going to make it out alive. And I have a faith in science. So that little thin rings of metal, um, all of the electricity goes through the metal and none of it goes through me. Uh, every once in a while I can feel that the tiny little bit of tingle, but no pain, just a little surprise and maybe a reminder uh, to keep being afraid, because if you lose that fear, you might do something dangerous. So it's a, difficult, it's a difficult thing to do. You have to have a faith in science, but yet at the same time, never lose your fear um, so that you, you can keep doing this show uh, in the future. <laughs>